Welcome back to this Let's Play of The Last Remnant. Last time we uh, accepted a quest to clear Crookfen of the uh, various corrupting influences around it, and uh, had a rather interesting fight in which Rush got to show off his new vivification herb skill a lot. And uh, honestly, I was hoping uh, that uh, I would be able to use uh, more um, remedies than, uh, you know, the, the magical skills rather than herbs, but I guess that's more wishful thinking than reality, because we are just spamming herbs right and left. Oh. The reason we're doing this is to collect parts, sort of items of remembrance, for, in order to recruit a character. Um, a character we're not even going to use long term, but a character that I'm sort of going out of my way to recruit because he also knows vivification herb. Um, I would, don't want to sound like a broken record, but it is probably one of the most important skills in the game. Just because, well, there's nothing else that, uh, well, there's only one other thing, and it's very similar. It's a lotion skill that uh, brings back unions after they've been killed. And frankly, the number of insta-kill attacks and just overpowering attacks in this game, bringing things back is almost use more useful than being able to heal them. I'm going to save before this next fight. And again, we are buffeted by a wave of dark energy. This is the Ruler of Weapons. Now, again, uh, my hope here is that I'm going to be able to um, fight off and get rid of some of these side groups first, rather than fighting the main guy first, because he can multi-deadlock, and there's not really any point in ganging up on him in the short term. The other group is, well, they're going down. Now, this was not the group that I wanted to actually fight the main guy, because this is the only group that has Rush in it, so it's the only group that can actually uh, resurrect dead unions. Um, so what I'm going to do is have them break and... Uh, Uh, somebody, the ones that I actually want to fight, engage him. Though it looks like, well, Roberto just short of killing him. And fortunately, my uh, Yama friends here are getting some good herb practice. And again, I'm going to have uh, Rush kind of stay out of the battle, just from the standpoint of, if something goes wrong, I don't want uh, him involved. Once we've established everybody else around the uh, main guy in a multi-deadlock, there are three, he can multi-deadlock up to three, then I'll have Rush engage, because he'll be engaging from flank and won't be uh, at risk.
for now. I'm just gonna have these guys heal. Balsam gets two. This guy's just... He's going down. Let's just go that way. And again, strike from the side shows up. And uh, we're just going to do our best to uh, end this quickly. Wow, that kind of hurt. He's, uh, cooling all out with his status ailments for long. <sighs> now, we could have Rush use, uh... Omni Strike, but honestly, Omni Strike is not what I want. Uh, well, these guys are probably gonna die. Because Omni Strike will just kill it, and that doesn't get me anywhere. Now that I've sort of established that we are winning, um, I don't want to uh, sort of mess that up. And, uh, you know, a little bit of practice is all we're looking for. I actually successfully silenced him, too, which is handy. <laughs> Means he won't be casting Eclipse. And, uh, we'll have him he have them heal. Well, nah. All out attack. Most status elements will wear off on their own. Um, Particularly on enemies, they very, very rarely last more than a turn or so.
Many of these guys are getting great practice, and all of them are placeholder characters. And now you can see there's actually a separate morale bar for each union. It's to the left of their hit points there, and to the right of this sort of the ins the four dots indicating the active members of the union. Um, they uh, that is not always sort of reliable, but it does have an effect on whether you can use uh, for like Rush's Omni Strike. Like I was saying with the. Uh, Namil Niram or whatever it was when we were fighting with Emma. It wasn't showing that attack wasn't showing up because our morale was unit morale was too low. So much for that. I don't know why they call this guy Ruler of Weapons. He's kind of like Ruler of Evocations might be a better title. Really uh, pulling out that can of whoop ass now that he's uh, starting to lose. Fortunately, we're not reliant on. Uh, we're not really affected all that much by silence because, well, they uh, can't silence herbs. I know I'm good. A new mystic art. What's I need the other one. Day. The other one. And you know we learned a whole bunch of stuff, and we get a whole bunch of random items. Unfortunately, nothing anybody needed. Now, Rush just learned uh, a uh, new herb here, life powder. I can't actually use it. Uh, life powder, unlike restorative herb deals or heals uh, based on the number of union, uh, members in the union. Not super important, it's just another healing effect. It's more effective towards late game, but, uh, you know, I'm gonna save here. And I have a feeling we're getting pretty close to out of time, so we'll have to uh, call it good and uh, be done.